I don't see it. Oh, I don't see it here, doesn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you have a restaurant there, a bar and grill. That's what I'm yeah. People wait until the last minute so they don't have to talk to each other yeah. and chat. <laughs> I don't know why they just don't freeze their pictures. Red Maya's on. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if we see it now. There's Fred. I'm not going on until the meeting starts. Me too. I'm not chatting with Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three other people are wrong. That's it. Uh, it's really not even necessary to be on, except to the neck and you're there. Of course. But, uh, well, I want to hear what they say. I like, well, you hear what they say. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. 
You could just yeah. go about your yeah. business, you know, and listen. Here's someone else. I'll flash on just once in a while, but I'm not going to sit down there. Yeah. There's Woodstock Land Conservatory. Oh, somebody wrote that? Yep. They're probably pro. Why would they be pro? Otherwise, why wouldn't they say no motel? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Where? Where? Woodstock land. Hey, Katara, can you hear us here? I just want to make sure we have sound. Yes, yes I can. I can. I can hear you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Remind everyone before we even start on um, there is not any public hearings tonight. So public be heard, you're always welcome. Um, I try to keep my board really safe and encouraged as possible. Up. Just so you guys know. Um, that's it, but just remind it. Well, okay. It is six o'clock by the official clock. So, I'd like to call to order the regular planning board meeting for February 2nd, 2023. And, uh, okay, so we have the minutes from January 19th. I'd like to make a motion to accept them if everybody's okay. okay. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Okay, under communications and announcements. We have a letter from Chief Peters regarding the California Quarry Road. We have an email from Supervisor McKenna regarding Calamara Lane, an email from Dela Pano regarding Calamara Lane, a letter from Kaplan regarding Calamara Lane, a letter from Daniel Contagnon regarding the architect, he's the architect for the California Quarry Road, an email from Levy regarding California regarding the Calamara Lane. Email from CSAC regarding Calamar Lane. We have the Talk of Towns Topics, which is a magazine for us. And we have the FEAF assessment on Tinker Street from uh, Brad Will regarding Calamar Lane. Just so if you all want to know, all the Calamar Lane letters were negative. All right, so under new business, we have uh, a and two sketch plan reviews and a uh, well and water course findings. So the first one is uh, Tandis, Osura, and Timothy Bass, Urban. It's a request of a renewal of an expired SUP for a special use permit. And it's an issued SUP 18-0481 issued on January 23rd, 2018. And it was an application to construct a 1,700 square foot single family dwelling in the R5 and scenic overlay zoning districts located on Lyons Way. And just so everybody knows, we did uh, review that and approve it. Uh, so this is just a re uh, request for renewal. So if anybody uh, needs to say anything else on it, we can, but otherwise I've got the map if you need it. We can just uh, I'm having trouble getting connected to it. I say the board's already reviewed this and approved it. Right. So this is just a renewal. So if everybody's in favor or has questions, uh, please do so. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Tandis. You don't even have to unmute yourself. We, uh, your your extension has been granted. I will work out the paperwork next week and submit it to Amazing. the department. And um, you're good. Thank you all. Good to see you. Thanks. I'll talk to you next week. I am not getting on. Am I, am I on the wrong Wi-Fi? I don't know what it is. I'm on town of Woodstock Security. 
Well, we may not need these, so yeah. I can drive them anyway. All right. And Caesar sketch plans. We're a little ahead of schedule, but that's okay. The next uh, case is uh, William Schultz, which is the Wetlands and Watercourse Permit application <coughs> number 23-050. This is a sketch plan review of a Wetlands and Watercourse Permit application for installation of a driveway and construction of a single family home within a wetland area and its buffers in the R3 zoning district located on New York State Route 212 in Woodstock. <coughs> and the rep is uh, that, guitar. Yes, and I guess they're on the, on the line. So if you would like to please tell the board what you're proposing. Uh, well, um, good evening, everybody. This is basically a 15-acre a, a property that is on Wardwell Lane. Um, yeah, the applicant is looking to just put a single-family house on it, and the only way to get into the lot is to come through um, an area where it's, it's wetlands. So we have to cross the wetlands to be able to put a driveway through. I believe the highway super already looked at that location of where the driveway is going and already issued that he would have no objection of having it in that spot. It's actually the only spot we can get in. We just have to, again, cross wetlands to be able to get there. Uh, the amount of disturbance that we're looking to do is less than 10th of an acre. So we believe that we can get, uh, you know, uh, an Army Corps permit to be able to do that. But before going through all that paperwork, we figured we start with the town of Woodstock first get your approval on that and, and, and move on. Um, the area, because of the topography and where the septic uh, system location uh, is, the area where the possible uh, single family resident will go, uh, it clips in the little edge of the 100 foot buffer. So we're also looking to just get an approval of the location of that house. Uh, basically that, that's, that's the project in a nutshell. Okay. All right, I just, uh... I want to bring up the fact that this was before the board several years ago for a subdivision and for the same access that you're proposing. And the board denied it because of going through the wetlands. And the subdivision was approved with a right of way, which still exists. So the first question when we do a wetlands and watercourse permit is can this intrusion on a wetlands be avoided? And you do have a right of way. May, may I know where that right of way is? Because I did research about that. I'm not sure what subdivision was it, but I couldn't find that right of way. You know, it's a, a subdivision map. I wish I could did. get online because I, I've got the map up, but I can't see it's it. It's a filed map. Subdivision. This is the right of way that was approved when we did the subdivision. It's and the reason we approved that right of way was to avoid going through the it's weapons. Inside. And the buckets. Yeah. I just want to remind you that the town of Woodstock unanimously voted to approve the comprehensive plan in the wetlands and watercourse permission. So, um, Peter, how long ago was that? This is the job. When, when, was that, when was the subdivision? We have the link to the list. I can't remember. That's my email to the list. 2010, Qatar. Yeah, 2010. So yeah, that's the right. Mm -hmm. Let me get this straight. Are we protecting what in 2023 than we are in 2010? My point. Where is the right? We denied this access. Yeah, right. at the time, let me just let me just say something about denying this access. This application came in to be able to subdivide the 15 acres to two or three lots. The access was denied because also the wetlands were all, you know, we were not delineated at the time. And basically there was not enough to be able to do the subdivision. So the whole idea of subdividing this 15 acres at the time uh, was basically, you know, we were instructed that we should go back and take a look at the wetlands. You brought up the Hudsonia maps. We had the delineator go out, delineate those wetlands and update them. And the owner basically decided that no subdivision, he just wants to put a single family house on the piece of the property. I don't know where else to be able to come in. As I said, the wetlands basically is all at the Southern border of that, of that land. I'm not sure how you can access it. May I speak? Please. May I speak? 
there is a road. What is the name of it? It's a private. It's not a public road. It's a private, yeah, it's private, a private road. road. And it, it, on my map, it looks very close to the property line, but you'd, have, you'd still probably have to get some right away on it. That that one is a private drive. If you were talking about that gravel drive at the um, us us men us and men or something like that. Are we, are we talking about the south the southwest corner of the property? Yeah. There's a gravel drive that comes in in that area, and I don't know if you looked at the topography. It's almost impossible to be able to get to the house from that area there. Let me turn on my. But the point is, we uh, did not approve that right away, that access before. Which access? Any. The one you're presenting. Well, how can we access this piece of property? Excuse me? I'm, I'm just, I, I need instructions of how to be able to put a house on this piece of property. I'm sorry, I didn't hear I, I need, is, it, is, is this a buildable lot or non-buildable lot? That's my question. It's a buildable lot because it has a right of way access. And I am that's just, the only way we approve. We did I not understand. Approve. I am so, trying to find that right away, and, and you know that's the point. Um, do we have a map, yes, file map number that we can look at, or there? No, this. Oh, this so file the maps at County. I gotta turn it around. What's coming in through here? Guitar, yes, I can give you more information on the map that we have. And they, this for the church is here, so if it goes up. That was and done in 2010. Oh, what do you know who was the surveyor who did that? Uh, Dude, I just emailed you. So it's, it's here. Bert Winnie. That's what I was talking about. Bert Winnie, okay. Exactly what I was asking. I just emailed you. But you can meet with me if you want next week and take a look. Okay. Um, I, I'm just not, I mean, too bad we couldn't just get this before, like any kind of a review or, or, or kind of notes before these meetings so we can at least take a look at it so we can make the meeting a little bit productive. The, 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 uh, you got to do that. You should know this exists. I'm sorry. I should know that exists. Okay. All right. So, um, at this stage, okay. So we need to look at the 2010 map and just see where the right of way is. If for some reason we find that this right of way was done and it's not still possible, we can come back and discuss this. Hey, folks. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm the I'm the owner of the property, uh, Bill Scholes. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank okay. Thank you. Um, I just so are, if we're talking about the driveway that is to the west of the property uh, through, it goes through two neighbors' yards. When we were cl clearing title for the property prior to purchase, uh, there is no deeded easement or, uh, or uh, stipulated right away for that driveway. I've spoken to both the neighbors. They, uh, they're of the minds that it's a private held driveway with no access uh, to, to the property. So I, I did talk to them about that. Um, and like I said, it didn't, uh, title um, didn't find any uh, granted access there. Well, I suggest you look at the approved uh, subdivision that the planning board did because it says right on it, it's an approved right away. And the only reason we made that subdivision was for that right away because we refused to go through the weapons on Wildale Lane. And your neighbors aren't collaborative? Uh, uh, highly resistant. Um, they're open. I mean, I've got a good dialogue with them because that's what you need to do when you're neighbors. So, um, uh, but, but honestly, the plans that are before you with the minimal amount of disturbance of wetland, recognizing at least that in general, there's precedent for that type of burning and culvert work. Um, uh, and the fact that Wardwell is Wardwell and it's a uh, a much better road to come off of than 212. And also the that driveway, the, the 90 degree turn would call into question of whether you'd have a, uh, a, a 50 foot degree radius to get into that little tiny sliver of land that uh, is part of this parcel. If I may ask, uh, why are they resistant? I'm sorry? If I may ask, why are they resistant? Well, they, I, I think if we had empathy, if the question is, I have a driveway that goes to my house and now I wanna 
uh, open that driveway for construction equipment and other people and another family and all the activities that go on to uh, to a parcel to another property. I think any any of us would have a a, a general resistance to that. Um, what was clear is they felt that I had no legal right or claim to use that. Um, and uh, and I think the other is that it's a it's a small typical single car. Uh, gravel driveway, so there would have to be, uh, I think, a fair amount of renovation, remediation, stuff like that. And so, from a cost standpoint, coming in off Wardwell, uh, even though we positioned the house very far into the middle of the property to make sure we were as far outside of the buffer limits as possible, um, uh, the expense actually in coming the other way ends up being um, more expensive than the plans that we have before you. Okay, well, let me just point out two things. Number one, the planning board can't consider finances or expenses. Number Understood. two, the subdivision was made. It was made. No, but may, may I? I think I, I think I also found the map that you were referring to, the 2000. Yeah, but, map. When this subdivision was made, there was a public hearing, and everything on this map was available to the public for the public hearing and approved. I, I so everybody there knew what was. I understand. May I just, because I, I'm trying to make this, that we can find a, a solution to this. And I just shared the subdivision map that was referred to as the 2010 map that was done by Bert Winnie. It does show a right of way to the south. Uh, I don't know if everybody can see this or not. Uh, yes, we see it. It, it does see show it. a right of way that somehow begins uh, almost uh, 250 feet away from, from Route 212. You can see there with an arrow that says beginning of the center line right of way. So we're not sure the first 200 feet or 250 feet applies to what. At the same time, in this map that was approved by the planning board, they do show a house and a septic system in what it is right now is a wetland. So if this was created specifically to protect the wetlands that are off Wood Wardwell Lane, I am not sure why you're allowed to show a house and septic system in the wetlands area that we're currently trying to protect. All right, well, let me make a suggestion. If your issue is about the right of way, that's a civil issue when it's something the planning board can't deal with. So I suggest that you guys pull the filed map. When you do I, I did, it's right there. And that's why the question, the filed map that we're referring to as, as a, we're going to hold it to say, we're going to use it as a guidelines that we already have a right of way to get to the this lot. That same map shows that lot, which is lot two, with a house and septic in an area where it's wetlands. So if the wetlands was studied in 2010 and that right of way was created to protect it, I, I just, I'm not sure the conflict in this map is, is, is you know a piece that I'm asking about. At the same time, this map, was done with minimum data. There is no contour lines here to show what the topography of lot two looks like. The map we provided can show clearly that it's it's a it's very, very tough terrain to be able to get from the right of way that you want us to try to use to a house site. It's just physically not possible. So I understand this from file maps. I understand that you looked at this probably back in 2010, but here we are 13 years after things change. You can look at few projects and at the same time, if this move makes more sense than what happened back in 2010, I'm just asking to consider that. Based okay. on the map you're showing is 2010? This one here right there, it's a filed map, uh, number 327, March 10, 2011. It was done in 2010 by Burt Winnie and went to the town of Woodstock and it does show the two lot. And here is the right way, right there on the south, uh, 33 foot right of way. It's okay, so we have a file map that shows the right of way, and um, it's right here. This is the map. I, we go. It's, that's the file map. Where that is, is the file map. Yes. So that shows the access to that lot. Well, it shows a beginning of a right of way that it's about 250 feet away from Route 212. So, to be honest with you, from the beginning of Route 212 to with this arrow that says beginning of the center line of a right of way, so I don't know if this actually it, is needed or not. It's not beginning, it's being. The entire thing is a right away. It doesn't say beginning. Maybe uh, I can't see it right. Sure. Yeah. So if this is the right of way that we're referring being the center to. Line. That's the center line. That is the but center I, line. I'm sorry, because right. my, my. All right. So the center line of that 33 foot right of way that is going through there currently, as I said, regardless of the neighbors being, you know, wanted to do this or not, does not give us any 
way to be able to go through and get to a house site. And this specific yeah, map. We can't solve that. Um, we have a file map that shows that lot has a right of way to avoid going through the wetlands. As I said, the town has voted unanimously not to go through the wetlands. And but that, but that, but that same map it does show house and septic in the wetlands. Well, sir, you've got. You I can't solve that one. This well, is no, I'm just using, right I'm using right the same standard. That is that this map was done to protect the wetlands. Sir, please, uh, Melissa, explain to them that um, the, they need to either deal with the, the civil, issue. civil issue to yeah, the we, access. Yeah, maybe meet with the neighbors and discuss, get a copy of this map from the county. It's, it, I understand, but it's not just the neighbors. My question is, this map that you approved with the right of way shows a access to a lot that has a topography that is almost impossible to access from that area. All right, Bill, the, the planning board's hands are tied because the subdivision was only created for this map and by that access. That's the problem. So they can't, that you have to figure out the right of way before you come back and they're not gonna approve what you've submitted because you're going through a wetland. That's it. No, no, no. But my question is, if the right of way that got approved is not practical, is not buildable, what do we do? This is not a court. That's why you have to go to a court and find a lawyer. Oh, okay. Because it's the right of way issue that was already filed and deemed. I understand, but the people who approved it is the town of Woodstock, and they approved the right of way to an, an, an a terrain that cannot be accessed. So who do we? We move to the next subject. Yeah. Okay, sir, please uh, follow the advice given to you by uh, our secretary, and we have to move on. Okay, I will be in touch, Melissa, and I guess we'll try to see what would be next here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. thank you. Okay, our next uh, case. And this is a special use permit number 220385. And a special use permit 22-0667. This is the second sketch plan review for a site plan review and special use permit applications to construct and operate a seven unit motel in five dwellings, five buildings in the Hamlet Commercial Zoning District located at one, three and five Calamar Lane in Woodstock. And the rep is Brad Will from Mishokin Architecture. And I just, before Brad uh, goes forward with this information, I'd like to say that the planning board for all motels, hotels that come before us, we require a planner to review the case and present it to us. So we will be moving to that direction um, after uh, we finish this meeting because we have to vote for the uh, escrow. So, Brad, if you want to go on from there, or if you want to wait, because there, all the information now has to go to the planner. Oh, sure. This is just an update. You know, I knew this yep. was going to be a short, um, but I did. Uh, most of you can attend. Do this we round. need a motion for that, please? You will, but Brad's going to go over just a few things. But okay, you're going yeah, to. Um, and those that those are the completed um, the FDA, FDA yeah. for the mapper. Um, that's section one, um, section two, and three. As you all know, is filled out by the, the board. I didn't include that those two second section. And I realized after I submitted the, the, the package in um, January that there was a, a misprint on the front page. So I'm just giving you a, a re, reprint of the front page. It, it, the key items were uh, <laughs> raw. There's one for everybody up here. So I think um, you have the the, the FEAF. Um, you're going to look at it, review it, and, and uh, maybe the planner will too once she's uh, uh, retained. Um, you, you complete sections two and three. Um, I did have a question about uh, whether you wanted to think now about a site visit. Do you want to schedule that? Well, as I said, as you know, the planner has to get all the information you provided, all the plans, everything first, and review it. Advise the board and yourself of, of what we do next. So it's probably premature to go forward with anything until the planner has reviewed it. 
I do have a question though about this information. It's a map in here and it seems to only show one of the oh there's three different maps. There's three different ones. You can, you can only select one at a time in the mapper. It's <laughs> That's just fine. Just the way it works. Now that I understand. No mm -hmm. problem. Any other board members have questions? No. Nope. Brad, at this point, I mean, as I say, the planner will review it all and then. And I, I've spoke to Brad, and um, he's aware that we, we had at this point it's time to bring a planner on board. Um, so I just need the board to make a motion. Brad and Rico are on board. Yep. Do we have a copy of the plot as they've got it laid out with the buildings and so on? I don't mean we need it now, but we had one in the right blocks. They handed it out last okay. that packet. Yep. Well, right. Yeah. We have a lot of data. That's close. Any other questions for Make a motion. Try and make a motion. It's $1,500 to get Nan involved. Make a motion. $100. All? All right. All right. That will be in touch. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Now, this case is Fam Acres, LLC, Planning Board Case 21-1226. And what was a water course permit number 21145? Wetlands and water course findings in CEQA determination meeting for a subdivision application of 147 acre lot into 12 lots, including a lot line revision with Woody Mac LLC at 70 Easton Lane, and a wetlands and water course permit application in the R3 zoning district. Located in 1883 Glasgow Turnpike. Sir Melissa Meyer and Jonathan Smenich from Barry and Fedbox. And we have Alec Glad from Cuddy and Fetter and Brad again from Chopin Architecture. This is Sam Akers, sir. This is. You want to join us? I miss you. <laughs> so let me uh, go through some. Thank you, work here. Start with... I do have one question here. At the time that I was here before, uh, he was talking a bit in a bit more detail about the management of the conserved land. Do we have them in writing the various possibilities of plans? At the time we did not. I mean, his answer was quite satisfactory, but it needs to be. It did. The, the, the red writing that we got, I received from Alec yeah. that, that named the town. That's what you're talking about, right? Well, the question is there were several different possibilities about the way the conserved land was going to be managed. It will be within the resolution, but what we asked for, they, they put right on in center. And That's John Lyons, I spoke to today, and he saw it. Um, and he will look everything over again before we. We sign off on the final plans. The public hearing will be the next meeting. Sounds good. So the public hearing is the 16th. Yes. We have all the paperwork. Ready. Yes. Okay. Here. All right, so let me just remind everybody about this case that the planning board has been reviewing this case for well over a year. So this is on the and uh, asked so the applicant uh, to make changes yeah, and the applicant has finished. been very willing to do so. Um, including taking about 27 acres out of the whole area to be never to be developed. That was attached to the Woody Mac. There's also a great portion of wetlands and, and water course and wetlands buffers that have been preserved. And the applicant has also set aside a good portion of land to go into conservation. So what's left is for us to go through two findings. So I have the one for the wetlands and water course findings. I don't have the the secret neck. We need this one first, right? And then it's this one. Okay. And then you just manage. Okay. I would like to propose that we I would like to move that we declare the water wetlands and water course findings completed. Okay. We need a second. Okay. Do, do we want to go through it? Are you good? 
Want to go through it? We're yeah. good. I can give a little overview too to add to what Peter had because I've, I've been working on this a little bit. The total lot is 147 acres just to get. Um, they came to us in the beginning, I think we we're at 14 and then we got down to 12. There's 10 buildable lots, one existing lot and one no build. In this 147 acres, they have came to us conserving 101.4 acres of land. So the total disturbance is roughly 10 acres. Um, there's only 45.6 acres that will be available, just FYI. So it's 69% of this parcel is conserved. So I'm okay with Judy with her motion, <laughs> and then we can move to the deck, deck. Okay, so Judy made we a notion. We got all the paper that says what everything we've yes. been talking about. Made yes. a motion that our findings are, yes, we are unlisted neg deck for the wetlands and water course permit. So she made a motion, someone second. Didn't hear anybody second, yeah. Second. Everyone, your vote. All in favor. Aye. Brayden? Aye. James? Aye. Judy? Okay, now we're going to make it. Okay. Um, Just so everybody knows that there's three classifications. There's a neg deck, which sounds negative, but it isn't. It actually means that there's no serious uh, intrusions on the wetlands or water courses. And then a positive deck means it's so bad that we can't go forward. So um, as everybody's pointed out, we have reviewed everything on this. Um, the uh, Everything has been done to avoid the wetlands and the uh, buffers. And as I said, to add more uh, conservation area in general. Um, it is one of the biggest subdivisions we've done in many years, but the applicant has been very uh, willing to, um, to uh, see all the planning board's uh, desires to maintain the wetlands and water courses in, in, in the, in good shape. So they've done that. Um, that, that there's nothing uh, being done uh, to change the water course, to change the, uh, the temperatures of the water, to 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 anything next to the wetlands. As the Woodstock Environmental Commission has written a letter and pointed out, yes, anytime you have a 14, 13 acre, a 13 lot subdivision in an area that's been empty for many years. Of course, there's some change, but by the code that we have to go by and the answers that we have to give to the questions, there is not a significant bad change to uh, the environment. So that brings us to a neg de declaration. So if the board is okay with that, or we have questions uh, about how we got there, Certainly ask, or you can ask the, yeah. the applicant any questions. Yes, I have a <laughs> regarding the overall environmental impacts. So, if I may, um, now I remember when we did the site visit, you and I, well over a year ago, and uh, and I asked the question and listened to the applicant. And I asked him what. Their intent was to the property. And they said that they want to bring their family together in a communal way, so to speak, uh, with this land. And, and I couldn't help but think if you go there, there are five, approximately five acres of flat land. That if you wanted to have your family community together, you could build houses there and not disturb anything. But since then, what I've seen is, is it's project creep. So lots have expanded, a number of them have, and, and they've gone into areas that will compromise 
but otherwise undisturbed area. And so, and I've heard a lot of back and forth of it, so I may be in the minority, but I, and I know that they have tried to move forward in the, in a collaborative way, but I just, if they really want to do what they said they're going to do, they can do it without doing this. So my position has not changed on this. Point taken. I, again, I can say that um, the applicant has been worked very well with the board to uh, do what they're permitted to do, which is to subdivide the property. And they've done it in such a way to. Uh, you know, Sorry, I thought I had turned this thing off, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. And as I say, we've, we've been over for a year. Um, it's the best possible solution we can come up with to protect the environment and allow the applicant to subdivide as they legally can. This isn't a public hearing. Okay. It's just a meeting. No, I, you can always write to the planning board. Okay, no problem. As far as a complete application goes before we go to a public hearing, the only thing that I know that we did discuss, and Judy is aware of this, is one of the big changes we made in this subdivision, unlike any other subdivision we've ever done, because some of the lots are huge, even though it's in a, a five-acre zoning or three-acre zoning, some of the lots are big, 12, 14 acres. And so, and on that acres is wetlands and buffers. So the applicant has agreed to create what they call a building envelope, which is to define the area only which can be built on in the future. So that they can't sprawl into the rest of the lands that they own for that lot, which is something we've never done before. It's kind of a new thing. Um, the applicant uh, has been willing to, uh, to do that, which is, which is exceptionally different, so. Can I add on to that? It is an R3. If we subtract all of the wetlands and the buffers, of which there are a lot, they couldn't do the whole 40 that otherwise might be possible, but they could do a whole lot more than they're doing, which is 11 plus the existing farmhouse, correct? Mm -hmm. They originally came in here, I think they wanted 14. And of those 11, one is a complete conservation. And then in every- Oh, I was talking about the ones you can build on. Yes. So that's actually 11, 10 plus the farmhouse. So I, I sympathize with your position, Brian. On the other hand, my land have a right to use it. And I think it's a remarkably um, conservation-oriented treatment of this property, all things being possible, short of saying nobody can build anything on anywhere, which I frankly would love to be able to do. Over here. So I agree with Peter. They have they have gone beyond, certainly beyond the letter of the current situation, and frankly, beyond where we would make them go if we had the new zoning in place. It's also, as Judy pointed out, the beginning of uh, the way the planning, all major subdivisions in the future, um, will be taking in conservation areas as a prerequisite uh, to subdivision. So is any board member saying? Questions for the applicants? Is this uh, application complete? Now this is just for the wetlands and water course, right? No, we're on we're on stupid. This is oh, the neg deck is for the whole thing. We already did wetlands and water course. Yeah. We made them. Work. I just yeah, I'm confused. Deck. It's all good. It's okay. a lot. So neg deck is for the project. Wetlands and water course. Neg deck I is agree. for Seeger, and this is an unlisted action, right. which required all of our paperwork that you guys have received and the board needs to make a motion that it is an deck. Okay, so, so propose a motion uh, to declare a neg deck on Sam Acres. I move that we propose a neg deck on Sam Acres. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay. Aye. And we got it. Thank you all. We'll see you the we, next meeting. All right. So, okay. So, um, I want to come out in the spring and watch the tadpoles go under the, I mean, the frogs <laughs> go under the I'm going to, we got to get that in place first. I got to work on the rest of the <laughs>
I gotta work on the resolution. Yeah, we're gonna have a party in yeah. two yeah. years. <laughs> we'll all go to a I gotta work on the resolution. But we won't have to pick them up and carry okay. them. Okay. Well, obviously, questions. both myself and Alex are available to get you guys. Have a great thank you that. for everything, Alex. Alex. I'm gonna tweak a few things, but we're we're we're, we're headed there, and we'll have the public hearing. Alex is a very good meeting. wordsmith, you know, if you need language. So is Judy. You guys maybe should uh, have a little conversation. Yeah. So, so can <laughs> I just uh, uh, get clarification that so um, the first motion to go is to accept the wetlands award course right. complete. So is there an approval of that? I mean, how do we? That's it. That's what it is. That's it. Okay. So then it'll be tied into the paperwork at the end. All right. Okay. Uh, so Judy, question. did you get your question answered about the legal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's it. it. That should we'll complete it. it. Yeah. I won't be um, here on the sixteenth. It will be in the resolution. You know, the SWIFT will have to be just looked over by Dennis, but I know you've talked to him. Where are you? Yeah, I won't be. I have brought some more paper copies of the one she won. Um, I won't be here on the 16th, but my engineer, who's done most of the nuts and bolts on this thing, okay. will be. I'm sure, we'll talk before that. can answer way. any technical questions. Perfect. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I sent everything for the public here today. So. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. You've been wonderful. You guys have two. Uh, Judy, unfinished business. We have a resolution to approve. Yes. Romanoff and Carberry. Romanoff and Carberry. We need a resolution. I don't know what the wording is for this. Sorry, I thought you had it down. No. Our lovely vice chair will make a motion to approve the resolution ready to be used after me for Romanoff and Carberry SUP number dot dot dot. There you go. Oh, that's all it is. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> move that resolution be approved resolution for Romanoff and Carberry SUP 23-05598. Perfect. Second? I'll get the hang of All in favor? Oh, or do you get a second? We get a second, do we? Second. Okay. We need a second. We got a second. Oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, guys. That was the easy. That was the easy one. That's one we voted on, and all she did was put it into the written form. And got it. Just making it okay. special. All right. Any board members have questions? Uh, I finally got on. I had no I idea. Didn't do anything. <laughs> I know. Do. You know, when we have. People who work with us and that we work so hard to get where we get. It's evident. <laughs> over a year. On, on we have spent over a year. Yeah. Very different layout from what it was when yeah. we first saw. And I mean, you all know the resolutions have everything signed, sealed, and you guys will get the draft. My, my goal is to have that ready for you before the next meeting. My goal. That's we'll a hefty one. It might. My goal is that. <laughs> So I'm going to and Alec, thank you again. I know they're on there. They're just listening and being quiet. Because Brad just wanted everyone to know that he put that a whole day. You don't have to have it. You can read it from there. All right, make a motion, make a motion to end this meeting, guys. Okay. All in favor. All right. <laughs> That's a, Peter, can I talk to you about one of these cases? But the what? About one of these cases because I'm a little bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand where we got this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to fill this out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to fill this out? Am I supposed to fill this out? Am I supposed to fill this out? Am I supposed to fill this out?